Hello, and welcome to the Daily Almanac for March 24th. So, let's get started. First day in history! <laughs> On this day in history, March 24th, 1874, Harry Houdini was born. Houdini is considered by many to be the greatest escape artist of all time. He dramatically freed himself from ropes, chains and locks, and handcuffs. His wife, Beatrice, was his stage assistant. He not only performed in theaters, but was also in many motion pictures. Also, on this day in 1989, the nation's worst oil spill occurred as the supertanker Exxon Valdez ran aground on a reef in Alaska's Prince William Sound and began leaking 11 million gallons of crude oil. Seabirds, sea otters, harbor seals, bald eagles, and billions of salmon and herring eggs were killed. People volunteered to clean animals, but in many cases, they were too late. And on this day in 2002, Halle Berry became the first African-American performer to win an Oscar for Best Actress for her work in Monsters Ball. World Power! Today on Word Power, we're going to talk about the saying, mind your P's and Q's. Now, if you mind your P's and Q's, it means that you're polite and are careful not to do anything wrong. You might say, when I go to my grandmother's house, I have to mind my P's and Q's. I don't want to do anything to offend her. Now, the saying comes from the 1600s, when people who were in charge of printing books and newspapers had to be very careful as they selected the letters. They had to be especially careful with the words containing P's and Q's, because they looked very similar and could easily be mistaken for each other. <laughs> Today on Extremes, we ask, what is the smallest moth on the planet? The answer is the Microlepidoptera. The wings of these tiny moths can be as small as one-ninth of an inch across, which is 0.28 centimeters. That means that their wingspan is smaller than the width of a standard-sized paperclip, and that's pretty tiny. These little moths live in England. Health tips. <laughs> right behind your stomach and just below your liver is your pancreas. Your pancreas is a gland, and it's the second largest gland in your body. It's shaped like a carrot. The pancreas has a job to do, to produce juices that help you digest food. It also makes a chemical called insulin, which helps keep the sugar in your blood at the right level. So help your pancreas out by keeping sugary foods to a minimum. Sweet treats are fine sometimes, but not all the times. I dive Do you know what a wetland is? A wetland is an area of low-lying water that is very important to the health of our planet. Wetlands are homes to lots of different kinds of plants and animals. They also help to keep our water clean by filtering out the dirt and pollution in our streams and rivers. Unfortunately, wetlands are getting filled in with dirt to make space for cities and farms. This has been going on for a long time, and in states like California, almost all wetlands have been filled in. So what can you do to take care of the wetlands that remain in the United States? You can find out from your parents or teachers where the wetlands are that are near your school or home. Then make a trip to the wetlands to see what's living there. If there are signs of trash or other pollution at your local wetland, talk with your teacher about arranging a cleanup effort. Well, that's all the time we have left today for Daily Almanac. Thanks for stopping by, and I hope to see you tomorrow. <laughs>